Well, hello, it's Rogue Archer, and here we are at Dim Hollow Crypt. We are here to find out what the vampires are seeking here. And now, I think we are going to actually pull out our crossbow, as it is the weapon of choice for a vampire hunter. Well, I think stealth is required, and we will creep into this place. Quietly and carefully. Never know when to give up. I thought we'd taught them enough of a lesson at their hall. To come in here alone. A fool like all the rest of them. Who is fought well there? Jedon and Pressoff were no match for him. Ha! Those two deserve to not. Arrogance to come and suffer. Oh, she got one of them. She got a second one. There's yet somebody here who senses her. Kira's dropped down into the stream. Bed. How do we get close without being seen, she decides. Oh, this is a quite- whoa, look at the blood fly. This is quite the weapon. Master Vampire. Okay, so... These ones, these vampires have certainly are the ones that were destroying the Hall of the Vigilance. She's overheard them talk about it. She looks like she's killed two of them. A strength potion could always come in handy. This is a particularly powerful vampire's robe. Nothing too interesting for her. I think we will. Huh. This is a powerful weapon. Oh, there's the Vigilant. Poor beggar. I think we'll take the Cure Disease, though. It'll be useful. Vigilant Talon. Oh dear, is this the fellow she was supposed to meet? I think it was. Why do these vigilants carry dresses? Okay, well, we have to figure this place out. We've can't get through that door. That's a gate. Oh, here's another vampire. Maybe. He Talent took out a few of them, because I think we only killed two. Alright, there's something here, I think. Iron Sword of Cowardice. That's interesting. Invisibility, but we need an invisibility potion. Minor healing, minor healing. That must be a chain for something. Probably lowers that gate. That almost looks like a door, but it didn't open. I don't know, do we want this weapon? It really doesn't look like the kind of weapon a person would want, but we can take it for now. Okay, so, here is like, all business now, I'm trying to think this thing through. That was quite a number of vampires already for one area, and it looks like... I'm sure that's the fellow we were supposed to meet. Let's stealth mode in here again. Hmm. I 
wonder now. Always use that. Oh, what is this place? regular Mercy! All right, they brought down those skeletons. These interesting stones. It looks like these are burials in and of themselves. Interesting. I wonder who who does the burials like this? I've never seen anything like this, she thinks. These aren't the ancient Nords by the looks of it. Could this be yet another type of ruin? Because thinking about. I think we found a type of ruin that's not just old ancient Nordic. Oh my. Okay, we see an enchanting table, we see some dead Draugr. There is some ancient Nord activity here then. Who knows? The painting on those tombstones almost look like the type you find at a giant's camp. Very mysterious place. Well, someone's been through here. So now we have seen Draugr attacking a vampire. Fascinating. So the vampire cleaning this crypt out. I'll have to think about all this stuff as the important details if you're going to report this back. We have to find out what the motive is here. I think we just actually leveled up. Let's just look here. We have. We'll take a point of stamina now. And we will take. We're going to go over to. Oh, light armor at 50. We were going to look up here. We have. More that we can do here. Nothing there. Nothing there. We won't be able to do that. It'll be probably like 75. So there go more for that. We go more here.
fighting stance. What's this one? Critical charge can do a one hand power attack while sprinting or savage strike. Standing a power attack is 25. Hmm. Wow. Choosing what to put perks into sometimes can be challenging. There was also block. I kind of wanted to... We're only at just 25. Well, when I'm on the spot, I sometimes I just don't even know what to put it towards. And... Alchemy... Which is also very important, is at 40 now. And Benefactor is as far as we can go. We need 10 more points to go to Experimenter. Well, you know what, I think we'll just leave that choice for yet another day. Because we don't want to waste too much time trying to figure out what we want. We want to see what is in this place. Looks like that vampire was tasked with cleaning this place out. And I think I see two ways to proceed. And I don't know which one is the one she wants to go in, so we're going to take it. Yes. This pathway leads down. I think we see. These interesting tombs again. Interesting. We've got different mushrooms in here. Okay. Well, this is an interesting place. This little spot ha looks like a flooded graveyard of some sort. Blood everywhere, though. Aha! Uh -huh.
What is going on? Why is she having problems with... She needs something against Frost. Somebody is freezing her. What do we have here? We do have one for Frost. There we have it. No, the Oh, here we are. Okay, we need to take some health potions. And I think we should take a fortify health. And we gotta take one of those resist magic. And we actually really need stamina. And just when you stop to take 20 potions, the vampire dies. Seems fitting anyways. Okay, well we have one more little chamber here. Take all that gold. So they're not after the treasure. Not the conventional kind. Is this like a... A crossbow with freezing qualities? I don't think so. Wow, this place is fascinating. This is a normal kind of a crypt, but there's been a spider in here. There's all these giant egg sacs. Oh, wait. Take those. These little urns. Place is pretty abandoned. Ooh, wait. So, this is also interesting. The vampires clearly cleared out these spiders. Because the spiders are dead. Huh. Okay, so definitely the vampires are here and cleaning out whatever's in here. Someone just died. Oh. Hold on. No, is that where we've been? That's where we've been. Were you the man who killed, or the vampire who killed, the spider? Is that who you were talking about? I am sure I heard a person cry. Okay. What lays in here? This is a fascinating place. We've got a waterfall coming down through the rocks, but daylight streaming in. I heard someone cry, but all I see is this frostbite spider. So was there yet another? What all's behind here? Oh my. I'll never tell you anything, vampire. My oath to Stendar is stronger than any suffering you can inflict on me. I believe you, Vigilant. And I don't think you even know what you found here. So go and meet your beloved Stendar. Sure that was wise, Lokio. He still might have told us something. Oh. Did they just kill him?
I knew I saw I will destroy you. Did my shout just kill those people? I'll be darned. I think we killed them. With a shout. I mean, they can't even find their bodies. What is this place? Wow. Kira's blown away. That was three vampires. She shouted them down. Oh no, here's the man who's dead. He's got wrote notes. Vigilant Adelwald. Okay, we'll take the notes. This was his notes. Divines, be praised here at last is the breakthrough I have been seeking. All the dangers I have escaped, the traps I have eluded, and the foul dane droger I have avoided have brought me at last to this. In my previous volume of notes and observations regarding dim hollow crypts, possible connections to the ancient vampire clans of Skyrim's history, I wrote of a great chamber far larger than anything else I've yet seen here in the crypt. Alas, a few wanderings, the wandering dragger forced me to retreat to the earlier passage of the crypt, thus depriving me of an opportunity to study this huge cavern. Well, praise be to Stender, for as I write this I have just opened clearly spent a, nearly a full day exploring the very cavern. It was a risk that proved more than worth it because what, what I found in that chamber nearly defies description. Central to this huge cavern is an island of stone in a subterranean lake. Upon this island is something I can only describe as an elaborate ceremonial construction surrounded by, a stone, col by stone columns and linked by arches. There is no mistaking the stark contrast in architecture here. No ancient Nords made the stonework here. Oh! Here too were more of the gargoyle statues that I first glimpsed in earlier passageways. So Kira was right. This isn't all Nord. There is no drug or burial site in Skyrim that contains these statues save Dim Hollow Crypt. Oh, so it's very unique. Indeed, I am now certain that the strange construction in this main canyon chamber was built long after the crypt. Oh, after! After by a wholly different masters. These must be the same builders who placed the gargoyles through the crypt, perhaps to, fright, to frighten away the curious. All signs seem to indicate that the masons were crafted, who crafted this strange arches were servants of some ancient master who favored necromancy or vampirism. The style and the craftsmanship in the stonework are not only distant in terms of designs, seeming to speak of an entirely different culture than that of the old Nord peoples, but also in skill with which they were fashioned. The cutting and shaping of the stone, for example, suggests more sophisticated tools than the crypt's original architects would have possessed, although I feel a sense of exhilaration that my theories have at least last been confirmed beyond any shadow of a doubt. I am also disappointed at the lack of answers. How long ago were these new features added to the crypt, and by whom, and for what purpose? On one point, I have no doubts. I must return to the Hall of Vigilant and share these findings with my brothers and sisters. When they see what I've discovered with their own eyes, they will no longer scoff at my theories or mock my endeavors. And when that is done, I will return to my work. For now, Dim Hall Crypt might be a mystery, but this, to my stender, I will see that mystery solved. Oh, this is the fellow that they talked about not believing. Let's take his journal. And this is the man. He has another book of the Daedra. I can't. I think I have that already. Uh, that seems to be a favorite. They also seem to love dresses. Okay, I think we can put our weapon away. I think we've totally dispensed with the vampire problem here. Wow, this place needs to be discovered and examined. I think we found the place. Now we have to find why the vampires were here. But that's gonna have to wait till next time because. It's been already a long episode. It's Rogue Archer here. We've got Kira and Raya in 
this fascinating tomb full of mysteries. There's something up there at the top on that balcony we didn't pick up on our way by. And we've got a whole lot of exploring to do in this cavern, so we'll do that next time. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you do, maybe leave a comment or a like. It'd be awesome. We'll see you next time.